And we are underway as the Cardinals control the opening tip. Thrilled to have you with us as the Lamar Cardinals of the Southland Conference take their shot at Power 5 basketball. The Yellow Jackets of the AZ push the ball, try to manufacture some easy offense. Uh, transition defense will also be a key tonight. As you see there, Jackets squander an opportunity. Court. James Madison transfer feeds Laquarius Page. Transfer from Indiana State turns it over. Here comes Shambari Phillips up to Haywood. He'll go to the rim and finish. Great work by the sophomore. One charge to Josh and Zekor, the senior from Mesquite, Texas. And Shambari Phillips with his first career points as a Yellow Jacket for tonight. No changes in either end since that break. ADK going to work in the low post, and he lobs it in. Office player Jose Alvarado nearly puts him on skates, but a beautiful vision by TJ Atwood slams it home. Points off turnovers, see some pressure, the 2-2-1 zone. And Alston, a transfer from Lehigh, that's the theme tonight, although Alston in his second year now at Georgia Tech. Here's Nick Garth, looking to get him going. Easter from the angle, sinks a three. Back to Obanda. Ball on the floor now. The junior from Nigeria off the glass. Ovesto Obanga, you'll see him here. They're not doubling the post. He's got great pace to himself. One, two, three bounces. And nice hands by Shambari Phillips. He poked it loose. Here come the Jackets in transition. Brandon Alston with the left. Yes. Country year after year. And so DeVoe, a four-star recruit, he was actually considered the, the diamond in the rough <laughs> on that high school team as he buries a three from the corner. Forced five steals, six total Lamar turnovers. And speaking of protecting the rim, A.D. Gay, he is a brick wall. Nice Atwood. work by Foster. Atwood got a piece of it. Great contest by Atwood. Nick Garth, the pull-up three, sinks it. And boy, he is a weapon off the bench. Get hot, score in bunches, Coach Price said. Alvarado slices in over the shoulder pass to Alston. The answer from B.A. Georgia Tech 2-2-1, soft pressure. But leaving the shooter opener in the corner. <laughs> There's a guy you can't leave. It's a busted so. assignment there in the pressure by Georgia Tech. Here's Michael DeVoe. Will he get on the three-pointer parade? Yes, he will. This is basketball in 2018. Well, give and go as Alvarado looks like he took a hand to the face. He's able to get back up. Phillips around the rim and in Shambari Phillips. Phillips. Yellow Jackets now with four three-pointers. They averaged less than five per game last season. DJ Holmes the other way, steps on the gas. To the corner. Kolawele with the floater. He's heating up. Phil, that's where the Jackets will travel to this week as they've got a 9 o'clock date on Tuesday night with the sixth-ranked Volunteers. Haywood Jr. in the corner. Buries the three-pointer. Five on four as Kolawele hits the deck. Alvarado, a no-look pass to Haywood Jr. Another one! Curtis. He's very capable. He's the guy that can get hot. Mars <laughs> answer that press said they have to attack it. Kola Wale feeds it down low. Atwood going to work. Gay contact in the air. Not only gets the block, but also the loose ball. Coach called that a teachable moment. <laughs> Haywood, a three-pointer from a mile long, and he sinks it. Holy smokes. Another tray for Haywood Jr. Boy, you think he's missed being on the court? And Easter, the floater, a freshman. Seven three-pointer tonight. They made 10 in their exhibition last week. And so perimeter scoring has definitely improved for Pastor's roster. Home to Texas. Page from the corner. No, and kept alive by Atwood. It's Nick Garth. He shovels it over to Easter, who sinks the tray. Tech taking the floor for the first time in 2018-19. Poked loose from behind, but saved by Garth. Feeds it down low. Judy off the glass and in. Shambari Phillips, you heard from him at halftime. Bet he's got a brunch plan for Saturday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully a victory one is AD Gay with the spin around hook. I mean, that's, that's what you want to know when you're going to commit to a school. Jose Alvarado running floater, got it. And the last note on that on that duo for Georgia Tech. Looser, Sylvester, very serious. They have a lot of fun together. B.J. Holmes slicing in and laying it home. If you guys aren't going to stop me, I'll take it to the hole. 
They work with Obanda at the elbow. High low to Evan Cole, and he elevates. They're trying to feed it to Enzikor, who was a non-factor in the first half. Played just six minutes due to foul trouble. And how bad that scoop from T.J. Adwood. But the defense has really stuck out as they've now got a total of 10 steals as Phillips slithers his way all the way to the rim. One basket shy of a career high. He's got 13 points, 15 is season high from a freshman year that was limited by injury. Brandon Alston connects from deep. Kind of reverse Obanda feeding Alvarado, not the other way around. Yeah, Lamar did a great job covering the first two backdoor cuts, and then the third one, they left the cover bare with Alvarado. Yeah, credit Georgia Tech, taking them out of their comfort zone, switching defenses, great length and athleticism on those positions. And DeVoe Michael. finishes <laughs> at the cup. When he win Tuesday, they have just six tonight, and then Zico without a bucket. Oh. And the putback, good. And can't finish it at point blank range, and Zekor hauls in the rebound. Just his second board of the night. Coast to coast the other way, real quick, pull away lane. The fellow rookie Khalid Moore. Nice find as Moses Wright parts the Red Sea and lays it in. It's A.D. Gay who picks it in. Moore, an alley oop try for Wright. He puts it off the glass. The paint. He's got that long wingspan. It's been tremendous tonight. He had 33 blocks a year ago, and finally, 2018-19. Just awesome to see that, though. You know, your point guard putting his arm around his senior leader. Chemistry. It a risky pass to Cole, able to connect, but he can't get it back to him. It's Garth out ahead of the pack. Sholin nearly with the poster, but Garth lays it in. He's got eight points. Passner. That necktie getting a little tighter right now. As Moses Wright raises up and lays it home. Two key seniors, but aside from them, many more faces back for Georgia Tech. Sylvester Obanda finishes in the low block. All small power forward. I, th I think coach prefers the term positionless. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't think there are power forwards in, this game, in the game these days. Yellow Jacket debut. A big stat uh, that Coach Team on an ACC floor comes up big with a shot in the arm and eight points. And T.J. Atwood, another two points. It's down to 18. It's for years. <laughs> That's my buddy John. Jose Alvarado lays it in. I imagine your relationship's a little less contentious than not being a player. Here's Nick Garth. Feeds it down low in Z-Core. He's going to work, and that is why he's been so successful in his three now fourth year. Can at 7.6 rebounds. He could knock on the door of a double-double by the time he's out of here tonight. Jose Alvarado swish. Play through those. Play to the whistle. Alvarado learning his lessons as a sophomore. Garth weaving his way in. Wow. Just a couple of minutes. Tech swings it around. Alvarado from straight up, buries it. Jackets aren't throwing the ball much. They're going to hand it off to running backs, and they're going to get after it and run, and also hurdle right over that line. And nice touch from Nick Garth. Alston from the corner, buried it again. Brandon Alston. But I, maybe the angle I'm sitting at, Just I thought it, it raced the glass. A little peck. And laying it home in Grayland Easter. Just his second collegiate game. Alston from the other side. A direct mirror three-pointer. Brandon Alston. And strong first half defense tonight. Beginning year number three under head coach Josh Passer. Moses Wright for good measure. Lays it in one more time. 